We know now that these high levels of saturated fat palmitic acid don't come from consuming saturated fats. Here's how it works. The body stores glucose from carbohydrates in the liver and muscle tissues in the form of glycogen. But your body can only store so much glycogen and once those stores are full, many excess sugars get converted into palmitic acid and stored as saturated fat. This is the cause of elevated levels of saturated fats for most of these suffering from cardiovascular disease. It's excess carb and sugar consumption. Consuming saturated fats has little to do with this equation at all. The same misguided thinking that had us shy away from saturated fat also had us screaming bloody murder at cholesterol. Approximately 85% of our cholesterol stores are made by our liver. Only about 15% comes from our diet. Since cholesterol has so many important functions, when we decrease our dietary intake of cholesterol to lower our cholesterol numbers, our body's like, forget you, I'll just make more cholesterol to make up for this deficit. Cholesterol is used to repair damage done by high amounts of insulin in the bloodstream, so it would make sense that if insulin goes high, cholesterol would go high too, just to help correct that problem. To lower your cholesterol, lower your sugar and carbohydrate intake, or whatever else is causing too much free radical activity, not your cholesterol intake. Lowering cholesterol intake has no long-term effect on your cholesterol levels.